Okay, so what we're going to do now is just, um, well, we've got our variables set up, so we're going to get some code that's going to actually start referring to these variables and input some, some data and things like that. So the way we're going to start off uh, is with our screen 2, um, we want to find when screen 2 initializes. All right, so when the user goes onto this page, it starts up, what's it going to do? Well, the first thing we need it to do is add our actual questions um, and our list of questions and answers and everything onto the screen. So at the moment in our designer, we've just got this. We didn't input anything. So it needs to be uh, collected, I suppose, from the database. And the question itself um, needs to be, at the moment it just says question, um, but actually needs to be the question. Okay, so we've got questions up here, for example, um, and our list of choices are down here. So um, when it initializes, we need to set the question first. So we're going to go to the question label, um, and we want to set the text of that label. So set question label text, plug it in there, and we need to change it to I just need to go to list because we need, uh, I need to select it from a list. And it's gonna, the question is going to come from our questions library, which we've got up here. Uh, so we need to get that. So what we need to do is go to variables, get that variable, and then we can just select it. And then you can see all the variables that we've got here. And that's going to be the question itself okay so that's what's going to be read there um, I actually named it question number label perhaps that wasn't the best way to label it but that's what's the, that's this one and it's going to actually have the question there okay if that makes sense um, and it's going to first of all display just a number question number one because that's the first question that it's going to display okay so when the screen initializes um, display question number one uh, where it says question here all right after that we need to fill in the list view of possible choices of answers so um, that's going to be in the question list and that needs to be set the question list elements you plug that in there so we're going to set those two again it's going to be from a list uh, so that, same as before um, variable and get a variable so that is going to get the uh, choices okay and it's going to start with again number one All right so when the screen two initializes, it's going to set the question, the question label. I really should have deleted the number. <laughs> question label to um, question number one from Global Questions. So I'll set it to that, and then the list will set it to the Global Choices to number one, which is this one. So there, those choices will appear in that list. Okay. Um, some other things that we want to do actually. So our button that we've got there, which is um, allows the user to go onto level two, well, we don't really want them to be able to do that immediately because they haven't done level one yet. So what I'm just going to do is set the um, visibility, okay, of that button to invisible. There isn't like an invisible option. So what you just need to put in uh, is it in maths? No, it's logic, isn't it? To, to false. Okay, so the visibility is false, so off. Um, we also want to set so the score, so the current score, um, set that visibility also to false because we don't want them to see all that stuff yet. Um, we just want them to see the question and the possible answers. Okay, so then what we want to do, that's going to show everything. So what do we want to happen when the, the user actually picks an answer? Okay, let's 
so now things get a bit more complicated. So we're going to do a question list. So when uh, so after they've picked a question from that list, that's what we want. Uh, we want an if statement because um, with an else on, you know, you know, if they pick a certain question, what's going to happen as a result of that? Um, right, so basically what we're going to do here is we need something that's going to check if the variables are equal to each other. So if the variable to um, question, for question one, if the answer they pick is equal to the uh, correct answer from our answers variable, then they'll get a correct result. <laughs> now that sounds confusing. So what we need to do so if the selection, so it's going to be here, uh, find selection. So if the selection, let me plug in properly. I don't know why that's not plugging in properly. Uh, let's have a look. Maybe we need a logic. Ah, yeah, of course, we need because if it's equal to. So we need that if something's equal to something in there first then come to our list view, then come to elements, drop that in there. Uh, then we need, it's going to be a list, select in there. So if the question list elements, if these are equal to each other, so what needs to be equal to each other? Um, the answers, so put two of these in here. The, uh, answers and the question number so essentially that's going to check if the question is equal to the number of the question that the user is currently on okay i hope that makes some sense so it's going to look at the global answers that's here so whatever question number they're on could be one, two, or three, or however many questions you've got. Um, if the answer is is equal to what the correct correct answer is, then it'll give you um, a point, I suppose. So what's then going to happen is it's going to set a variable. It's going to set our score. So score. Two and then just needs a calculation, just like a simple plus to um, what's it going to add one? So add in a value. So we'll say one point per question, that makes the most sense. It's going to add one to the current uh, score value. Okay, um, hopefully that makes some sense as well. Um, what we also want to do is it, it wants to pop up. So remember we had that uh, in the designer, we had the option that was um, whether it's correct or wrong. Well, that needs to come and show up now. So uh, we need to set, where is it? Correct or wrong label, set the text of it. If you'll let me, there we go. And we need to set that text to, well, just correct or wrong. Oh, it's going to be correct. So if they match up, it's going to say correct. Okay, and then we want to set the score because it's going to show what the, the current score is. Uh, so set the score label text. Uh, what's it going to set that to? It's if we do a join. We can do the first bit of the join would be score equals, um, and then it will add on to that uh, whatever the current global score is. All right, so we've got else here because if these don't add up, then it will go to what it will go to else. Um, so we can just copy that into there. If it's wrong, 
copy that as well and then just change these around so that will say it's it's wrong um, and it will still tell you what this this current score is but it's not going to add anything to it okay so it'll, if it's still zero it will just say zero because it's not added anything on it's only going to add something on if those add up and that means the question is right um, it'll say correct show the score if those don't equal each other as we've said here then it will say wrong and it will still display the score but it won't actually add anything to it okay that's quite a lot in one go so i think we'll, we'll stop there um, i hope that makes some sense we'll just recap as always so what we've done is when screen two initializes it sets the question uh, to the whatever the first question is from our global questions up here so it will set it to that uh, it will also add populate the list to our choices whatever is in number one for question number one um, it, it will hide the level two button and hide the current score when they pick a question if the question they've picked is equal to the correct answer then it will set the score to plus one of the current score um, and it will set that label to correct and it will set that label the score label to um, show the current score if they get it wrong then it will say wrong and it will still show the score okay but you might be thinking actually just a, just a quick one that, that these are hidden still so the score label is hidden so it's going to show this it's going to change the score but it's still hidden so we need to actually set that to 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 show so um uh, that correct wrong label set the visibility yeah it doesn't need to be on there it just needs to be added on to the end um and then we need to change that to true this time and then the what else do we want the score sorry set the visibility of that to true okay <laughs> so they'll actually be uh, visible all right that definitely is all for now um, so make sure that you have um, tested this to make sure it's working and everything you should have when you run it you should have your question one show up you should have your your choices um, when you pick the right answer it should say that it's right when you pick the wrong answer it should say that it's wrong um, and the score should work and all that so make sure that is working uh, correctly before you move on okay